Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Storyblocks Video. If you ever need for stock videos, after effects, or motion background, then Storyblocks Video is the best option for you. As a content creator, many times you have to use stock videos for your projects. And it can cost you more than your entire budget. But, with Storyblocks Video, get studio quality stock, for a fraction of the cost. All content on the Storyblocks video is royalty free, so you can use it for commercial, and personal projects. Go to the link in the description, to get all the stock videos you can imagine. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Beauty Text. As always, I am using the 1920, by 1080 resolution, but this time, I am using a frame rate of 60 frames per second, to get a smoother animation. Now, the first step is to create a new solid. And we will call it the background. Use any color you want, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the gradient ramp. Apply it onto the layer. And let's change the color of it. For the start color, I am going to use the bright shade of blue just to get the blue touch. And for the end color, I am using a bright green color, just to get a little green color shade. Now go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click on the frame, and start typing your text. You can download this font from the link in the description. Grab the move tool, and then align your text into the center. One thing to remember, Make sure your paragraph alignment is set to the center, not in the left or right. Else the effect won't work, as we need. Cool, now expand this text layer. And click on animate from here. Now choose the position from this list. At first, this looks the same as the position in transform properties. But, this is different. Keep the position value around 230. Now open this range selector, and here we have this start and the end. Let's add a keyframe onto the start. And then go to around 2 seconds forward, and change the start value to 100%. Cool. Here, each letter is moving, one by one. Now select both keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. In case your graph does not look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Cool. Switch back to the timeline, and let's add motion blur to it. In case, your switch tab isn't visible here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key, is sick of, diarrhea, then right click here, go to the columns, and select switches, as well as the modes, because, we are going to need both of them. Now click here to add motion blur to it, and then activate it from here. Cool. Here we have this nice looking animation. Now select your layer, and press P, to open position. This position is different from the previous one, so don't get confused. Make sure you are at the 2 second position, and then add a keyframe on it. Now go to the first frame, and change the first position value to around 1370 pixels. Cool. This is what we have. Now select both keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Cool. Here we have this smooth movement. Switch back to the timeline, and it's time to mask out, our text. Make sure to unselect any selected layer. Then go to the tools, 
and select the rectangle tool. Please note, my fill is set to a solid color. And the stroke is set to none. Again, make sure all the layers are unselected. Now start creating a rectangle around this text. It should cover your entire text completely, after the text stops animating. Our text should be only visible, in inside this rectangular shape. Cool. Now change the text track mat to alpha mat. Also, select the move tool by pressing V, and then align this shape, into the center of the text. Check out the animation, and you should have the similar animation like this. Perfect. It's time to move to the next step. Minimize your text layer, and expand it once again. Click on the animate, and select the tracking this time. Now go to the 2 second position, and add a keyframe on the tracking amount. Go to the 30 frames forward, and increase the tracking amount value by 25. Now select both keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Cool. Switch back to the timer line, and check your animation. I am happy with that. Let's minimize both layers to get some room, and then select both layers, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. Let's call it text 01, and then, hit OK. Again, apply the gradient ramp on it as well. And change the color according to your need. You are free to choose anything you want, I am just showing you the way, the destiny is yours. I am going to stick with this. Now select the text layer once again, and make a duplicate of it. Select the bottom layer, and rename it as Text01 Shadow. Again, go to the effects and the presets and search for the fast blur. Apply it onto the layer. And increase the blurriness value to 150. Place it something like here, then open opacity, and change the opacity value to 50%. Ramp preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.